Imagine for a moment a world that has everything you could ever dream of. Need some supplies? Every kind of store you can imagine is there and open 24-7. Want to see a movie or a show? Millions at your fingertips. And if you're tired of storms, it never rains there. Weather's perfect. So where is this magical place? It's the metaverse. That's the world the gaming company Roblox is trying to create. And they're not alone. A real-life, ready-player-one sort of experience. Melding real and virtual life into one thing. And it might be right around the corner. Steve Kovac now. He's CNBC.com's technology editor. Steve, all of that sounds pretty incredible. But how close is it all to becoming a sort of virtual reality? In a way, it's already kind of here, Shep. Uh, Roblox, which you just mentioned, went, and went public yesterday, they already have over 30 million people living in their digital world, this metaverse they're building, every day. Now, it's mostly kids and teens, but they are spending real money and having these hilarious and great interactions with, with each other in this virtual world. And that is why people are watching this company so closely. So it sounds like something that could, I don't know if replace is the right word, but supplement social media and all the ways we all communicate now. And in addition, it's not just Roblox. There are a lot of companies doing this, right? Exactly. Think of it as like Facebook on steroids. It's a new kind of futuristic way to socialize online. Today, we're used to doing it on phones and tablets and computers, but it not too far from now, we're going to have augmented reality and virtual reality headsets from companies like Facebook, Apple, Samsung, Google, that lets you really feel immersed in these digital worlds that are being created right now and give you a sense of presence, more so than we're having right now remotely. Imagine if it felt like I was sitting right next to you, Shep, even though I'm not. That's what it's like. That's creepy just thinking about it. But I will say, <laughs> does that mean kids who first start in this virtual world do those kids then grow up in that world? Do their avatars grow up? Do their habits and likes and dislikes grow up? Yeah, that's the real advantage for something like Roblox. Yes, they have kids captured right now, but the kids are also the ones building this world. So as they age, the world will evolve with them. So as their tastes and, and, and likes change, they can build the world the way they see fit. So yes, it seems like a kid's game now, but I don't know, 10, 15 years from now when these kids are adults, it's going to be more common. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.